Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. So it's an absolutely beautiful, crisp fall morning on the homestead. Do you guys have all your Thanksgiving prep done or are you like me and procrastinate and wait till the last minute? This year we're having family come up or down, should I say, from New York. And it's actually the first year that we've ever gotten everything we need. I think we got everything we need for our Thanksgiving holiday ahead of time. Um, so it's a uh, turnover, a new leaf for us, not just the homesteading thing, but being proactive and planning for meals as well. So as you guys can see, we have this temporary net set up for our chickens. Um, it's a really, really temporary solution because they go under it, they fly over it. But you know, when we finished our coop, we wanted to get these chickens out on grass because they've been in this little tiny brooder box behind me for way too long. So that was the reason for this, just so we can get them out on grass. So anyway, we've been wanting to get, um, you know, we've seen a lot of these YouTube home setting channels as well. And a lot of the people use the Premier One electric nets um, for their chickens to keep them in. Well. They're really electrified more so that you can keep things from getting in, being coyotes and predators and whatnot. So um, we went ahead and ordered one. I was struggling with it for a while because I didn't know what size to get, um, how tall, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and also, everyone seems to have them in white. I wanted one in a darker color because, as you can see, if this is like a dark green, it kind of blends away and it's not such an eyesore. Um, so I, I found, I wanted a black one. I didn't find black, but I found a dark green one uh, through Premier One. We went ahead and ordered that and it just got here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that unboxed and get that set up today. We don't have an energizer yet, but I think we're just gonna get the net set up. And then uh, in the future, in a couple, couple days or something, we'll go pick up an energizer and get it electrified. But at least for the meantime, we'll be able to increase their size a little bit there of their pen and um, give them a little bit more room. Looks kind of like it might have been open once upon a time. Somebody retaped it shut. It turned possibly. So the DS at the end of this um, notates double spiked. I kind of struggle with what to get uh, in terms of how many spikes or which types to get um, based on our soil. So the double spikes are this kind of upside down U shape, and the reason they, they do that is they kind of kind of have a step here, so you can you know use your foot to push them down into the soil. Okay, so the thing that I was struggling with when it comes to double spike versus single spike, and they also make I think um, a drivable spike that has like a thicker post that you can drive into the ground. On their website, they state that um, it really depends on the type of soil that you have. And they say that for clay soil, the double spike might not be what you want. Maybe you want the drivable spike. I wasn't sure. Um, I, I see a lot of home setters that are in my area and they're all using the double spike as well. So I just took a gamble and went with the double spike. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be difficult because of our clay soil or not, but we're about to find out. Okay, so I set it up around the existing pen, obviously because it's gonna be a lot easier to keep them in here rather than set this up, you know, take that down, then set this up and trying to wrangle all the chickens back in. So now we have a pen within a pen, so we're gonna go ahead and get this old pen broken down. They don't want to leave the 
Sultan. Good job, Brady. Watch out. Would you leave them alone? Sorry, ladies. Well guys, I don't know about you, I'm really pleased with how that turned out. You know, you see these things on YouTube all the time and uh, you don't really know what kind of system they are or how well they work until you get one yourself. And I could say with certainty, um, I'm, I, I think it's a really good system. Um, it's just, it's a really con well constructed item and I think it's gonna work out great for us. So like I mentioned, I still gotta get an energizer set up, but it's already doing a you know, significantly better job than the last one was doing. So chickens aside, um, last night it got down to the 30s, it was real cold yesterday. And uh, I checked the game cam this morning and it's deer everywhere. So uh, it's about three o'clock. I think I'm gonna go get ready, do a little bit of a afternoon hunt. Well guys, we didn't get any deer last night, but uh, we did see some. As you guys can see in that video earlier, there was a little little fawn. Obviously I'm not gonna shoot that. And then a big doe did come out, uh, but she was with two fawns. And um, some might say it's okay to harvest her. 
on a personal level, I just kind of can't do that. Uh, you know, harvest a doe when she's with two fawns. I'm not judging anyone who does, but personally, I just can't do it. So today, our in-laws are arriving from New York to spend uh, Thanksgiving holiday with us. They'll be here for a week or so, maybe longer, who knows. But we're going to try to get everything squared away around here, get some last minute uh, preparations done. Um, I also got to clean the gutters on the house because they're full of leaves from fall. I was hoping to just do it once, you know, after all the leaves fell and then be done with it. But they're still falling and the gutters are packed. So um, I got to I got to get them cleaned out before uh, we have possible leaks or anything like that. Um, other than that, everything seems to be going pretty well here. Chickens are liking their new enclosure. Goats are happy and healthy. And we're just getting ready for Thanksgiving. So some of the stuff, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, that's coming out of the gutters. It's been leaves that's been in there for so long before we bought the place that it's already tearing the compost. So that's gonna make uh, a pretty good addition for our compost pile. So I think we're gonna call this a video. Um, we got everything done, gutters are cleaned out. We got our new um, electric poultry netting up. In-laws just got here, so uh, today was a success. We didn't uh, have a successful hunt, but any day out in the woods is always successful in my opinion. Got about, I would say, five to six weeks of hunting season left here in South Carolina, so still plenty of time. Um, but just being out there is always a good thing as well. Um, we're gonna pick up a, I don't know if we're gonna go with a solar charger or an AC charger for that fence, but we're gonna get something either way so that we can keep our chicken safe. Um, and other than that, we're getting ready to have our Thanksgiving feast. And um, maybe I'll check in with you guys before the holiday. If not, thanks for watching along. Thanks for following along. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks guys.